Hello everyone, Ictus here, back again with another video. Welcome back to the Rooting Linux series. This is part 3 and today we're going to be talking about kernel exploits. Before we start with today's video, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because this really helps me out a lot and it tells me that you guys are enjoying the content. So without further ado, let's get started. So what are kernel exploits? Kernel level exploits exist for a variety of Linux kernel versions. A very well known example is Dirty Cow. This leverages vulnerabilities in the kernel to execute code with root privileges. So in other words, we are making the Linux system run the commands that we want as the root user. Now it is very common to find systems that are vulnerable to kernel exploits. It can be hard to keep track of legacy systems and they may be excluded from patching due to compatibility issues with certain services or applications. Privilege escalation using a kernel exploit can be as simple as downloading, compiling and running it. Some of these exploits work out of the box, while others require modification. A quick way to identify exploits is to issue the command uname-a and search on Google for the kernel version. So with that out of the way, Let's get to a more practical example. I've loaded up Kali and I've made an SSH connection to a vulnerable virtual machine. Now I know that this machine is vulnerable to a kernel exploit, I just don't know which exploit to use. So the first thing I need to do is to find the kernel version running on this machine. And like I said before, to do that we need to run the uname-a command. And as you can see guys, right here we can see the version of the kernel running on this machine. Now we can copy and paste this on the browser and we'll get a lot of exploits to use on the machine in order to obtain the root access. But there is a much simpler way of doing that and it is using a Linux exploit suggester. So when we run this tool, it is going to give us all of the possible exploits that we can use in order to obtain the root access on a specific server. To download the file we can run this command which is just getting the file and then setting the output file to less.sh. So let's copy this and run it on our server. Now as you can see it says that less.sh has been saved and if we do a less we can see the file over here. Now in order to run this we need to run chmod plus x and specify the name of the file. Now we've changed the permissions of the file and we've made it an executable. Now all that's left for us to do is to run the file and get the results. Now as you can see we've got plenty of exploits here and the only one that I'm interested in is the dirty cow exploit. Now if we google the name of the exploit we'll find this website and in order to get all of the exploits that they developed we need to view the exploits from here and it will get us to this page. Now over here you get a lot of exploits because these exploit vulnerabilities in different ways. The one we are looking for is the cowroot.c. So let's have a look at that. As you can see on the comment of this file the developers have added instructions on how to compile and run this exploit. So after we have downloaded this, we need to run this command and then we need to execute the file. So like I said before, kernel exploits are really easy to use. All you need to do is download them, compile them and then run them. So let's get the raw version of this and let me clear my screen on the server and w get this file. Now in order to compile the file, we need to run the gcc command. And as you can see, GCC is not installed on this server. Now let's say that you don't now let's say that you don't want to waste time installing this tool and you really want to get this done. What you can do is run the wget command on your Kali machine, then you can compile the exploit on your Kali machine. You can ignore these warnings. And now all you need to do is run the python m simple http server command and you can specify the 80 port 
this will enable an HTTP server just like Apache, but this will do it on your current directory, which is my root directory. Now if I enter, I can now wget the file from my machine. I'll need to get the IP of my Kali machine and paste it over here and specify the name of the file which was cow root now if I do ls we can see cow root over here and now all we need to do is chmod plus x cow root and execute it and as you can see guys we became the root user now all that's left for us to do is to go to the root user and get our root flag. So that's it for today's video. I hope to learn something new and I'll see you on the next one.